Hello! In this video, I'm going to perform panel configuration model and panel var model. I have two variables such as money demand M3 and interest rate. I have five countries. The data is 14 years. Sorry, the data is nine years. The observation 49 observation. First, before we start, we run the panel configuration test with M3 money demand as dependent variable and rate independent variable such as M3 constant and rate. And then out of the three method, I select cow method. If the rate with constant and M3 then M3 constant and rate and you can, you can see it here if we value greater than 5% then I use var model with two legs. Second run panel configuration test with rate as dependent variable and M3 money supply independent variable such as rate, constant and M3. Then I run again cow method because I select one method out of a three method, Pedronic, cow and Fisher. So I select cow method. If the value of this model greater than 5%, then I use var model with two legs. Third, after we find that p-value is greater than 5% of the second model or second panel configuration test, then I can now proceed to run var model. As first, we run it with M3 as dependent and rate as independent variable such as this. M3 constant, M3 lag 1, M3 lag 2, rate lag 1, rate lag 2. Of course, for var model, always there is a lag. We have to use the lag. After we have var model, then we have to test first for fixed effect model, as you can see it here. And then for random effect model, and then to see which, which model is most appropriate, then we have to use Haussmann test, which is which he has the answer of this question and here we have to state the Hausmann hypothesis such as as you can see it here null hypothesis random effect model is appropriate which means that if we accept null hypothesis and reject the alternative it means that we have to run random effect model is appropriate which means that in other words if we accept null hypo if we reject null hypothesis we have to run fixed effect model but in this case null hypothesis random effect if we accept if we cannot reject null hypothesis so we can run random effect model as appropriate as you can then after this is the equation we use it m3 constant m3 uh, leg 1 m3 leg 2 and here rate sorry rate leg 1 and rate leg 2 the same procedure as the we mentioned earlier if we value less than 5%, use fixed effect model according to Hosman test. Run fixed effect model again because it is most appropriate. Let me just put the space here. Model again. And then we can run fixed effect model as a most appropriate model. Then I check the causality whether rate can cause M3 or not. 
using while test, which means that we have to use the null hypothesis C4 equals C5 equals 0, whether it's 0 or not. We have to test it. If it is 0, it means that the rate lag 1 and rate lag 2 jointly can cannot cause cannot cause M3 or money demand. It means there is no configuration. And then we have to run the configuration, which is the final configuration with rate, different variable with rate as a dependent variable and M3 independent variable, then we use the same procedure. As you can see it here, we test for fixed effect and random effect. Then we have to get the answer, which one is most appropriate. We have to use Hausman test with that. Now I'll go to e-views. I see the data here, you can see it. M3 and interest rate and the data 2000-2009 five countries, the number of observation 49, as I mentioned earlier. So I have to, this is M3, and this is rate. We have to open this data, as you can see it here. Then we have to run the first one, as I mentioned here, we have to run the panel configuration test when M3 is dependent variable. And rate is independent. So how? I go to quick, group statistic, Johansson test, and this is the variable M3 and the rate. Press OK. Here you can see there is a three type of test. Pedroni, Cow, and Fisher. Out of these three, I select cow. But we can run Petronic and we check uh, with individual intercept. So press OK. You can see here all the probability, 11 probability greater than 5%. We have to confirm that using cow. I go to view, configuration test, panel configuration test. I select the second one cow with individual test. If the p-value greater than 5%, this means that we confirm that Petronic is the same as cow, which is p-value greater than 5%. Leave everything as it is. As you can see here, we select the automatic selection, the skewers, information criteria, but you can use any of these, uh, Kika information, criteria, Hanan, modified and modified skewers, but in our case we use the SIC. Everything remain as it is, then press OK. Here you can see that p-value ADF T statistic, then we can see p-value greater than 5%. When we find it more than 5%, it means that we have to run the VAR model. So how to run VAR model? I'll go to quick, estimate equation, construct the VAR model as M3 dependent variable, which is M3 constant, M3 lag 1, M3 lag 2, rate lag 1, rate lag Two. This is the VAR model with lag. Always when we run VAR model, we have to use the lag. And the lag is selected by the default, by default in the e-views. So here we consider M3 dependent variable and rate independent variable with two lag. Now we have to test for fixed effect model first. Panel, I go to panel. Option, select fixed, leave everything as it is, press OK. This is the outcome of fixed effect model. And here we have to test. If it is the appropriate one, we have to test with while test whether this rate is called the M3, which is the dependent variable, or not. 
Then I'll go and check test for random variable. This is the here we can see the random variable also we have to test which one is the appropriate we have to test use while test in order to see which one whether rate co like one and like two cause the dependent variable but we don't know which one is the most appropriate houseman test has the answer how i'll go to view fixed random effect testing and go down here to correlated random effect houseman test press enter you can see here p-value which is a cross-section random chi statistic 1.8 and probability or p-value 76.96 data we have and we see the hypothesis for houseman here if null hypothesis random effect model is appropriate what does it mean it means that if we cannot reject null hypothesis it means random effect model is appropriate and here what we have we, rege we cannot reject null hypothesis because p-value more than five percent which means that the, how the random effect model is the appropriate then we have to test the wild test to see whether rat rate lag 1 and lag 2 has any effect or cause the uh, sorry in m3 in this case we have to run random effect model again after we find it is the most appropriate i'll go to estimate go to on the panel option random effect press ok and this is the outcome for random effect which we have already so now we have to test right rate 1, lag 1, lag 2, whether they have any coils on M3 or not, how? I have to go to view, coefficient diagnostic, wild test, and here press what we have here. We have C1, C2, C3, C4, C5. So we have to test C4 and 5 as a null hypothesis to see whether there is any coils of to M3 or not. C four equal C five equal zero. This is we call the null hypothesis. If we accept the null hypothesis, which means that we the C four and C five equal zero or rate lag one and rate lag two equal zero, it means there is no cause, no effect. Press OK. Here you can see every statistic 6.4 which is greater than 5 percent which means that we have to say c4 and c5 rate lag one rate lag two has no influence on the m3 the second one here after we test the wild we have to use the second model as we can see it here we have to use the sec which is rate lag one lag two as late as a dependent variable and m3 as independent variable i'll go to review just click to move this part and then i'll go to quick group statistic johansson test here we have to change rate and then m3 we put rate as dependent variable and M3 as independent variable, press OK. Then we have to select Patroni first, Patroni with individual intercept and the automatic selection, press OK. You can see most of the older probability greater than 5%. And then we have to test for cow, which is cow method, to confirm. I go to view integration test panel integration select the second method which is cow angel granger based leave everything as it is press ok you can see here probability is greater than five percent which is 37.93 percent here when we find p-value greater than five percent then we can 
easily proceed to run var model because we cannot use error correction model because p-value is greater than 5%. Then what to do now? I'll go to quick, estimate equation, put the model, which is now rate as dependent variable, constant, rate, lag 1, rate, lag 2, and then M3, lag 1, M3, lag 2, let's double check here, rate, constant, rate, lag 1, rate, lag 2, M3, lag 1, M3, lag 2, here we can see that we put rate as dependent variable, M3 as independent variable, and here we have to run fixed and random effect. I'll go to panel option, I put fixed effect, and then press OK. This is the model for fixed effect, and then I run for the random effect. This is the random effect, but now we have to see which one is most appropriate in the second panel equation data when rate is inter uh, independent variable, as you can see it here, and uh, M3 as independent. So I'll go to view, fixed random, Hausman. Here you can see Hausman more than 5%. So we, re we cannot reject null hypothesis. And, ex and here, random effect model is the most appropriate model. Then we can run this model again. Random effect. This is the random effect model. Now we test for the wild test to see whether M3 lag 1, M3 lag 2 cause the rate statistically significant or not. Then we have to go to view, coefficient diagnostic, wild test, type the C4 equal C5 equal zero. This is the null hypothesis for the second Integration panel configuration. So if we if we say we accept null hypothesis here, it means there is no causality or there is the M3 has no effect or cannot cause the rate. So I press OK and you can see here more than five percent. We have to accept null hypothesis and reject the alternative hypothesis and then we, we can say C4 and C5 which is rate uh, M3 and M3 lag 1, M3 lag okay has no effect on the sorry and this is what we have to do with the panel VAR model after we run the panel configuration model then later we use the VAR model to test whether which one of the model we used, we used of course two model, M3 as dependent variable, rate as independent, then we reverse it as rate as dependent and M3 as independent, then we test it for uh, fixed effect and random effect, we find the most appropriate, then we test the wild test to see whether this variable like 1, like 2 for M3 or like 1, like 2 for rate, is cause the M3 or cause the rate in the model. Thank you.